Hi everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel. So for today's video, uh, we will solve a motion problem na nanggaling sa 1001 solve problems in engineering mathematics, day 4, number 184. So galing ito sa EE Board, April 1997. So number 184, a boatman uh, rose to a place uh, 4.8 miles with the stream and back in 14 hours but finds that he can row 14 miles with the stream in the same time as 3 miles against the stream, find the rate of the stream. Okay, so pag ganitong mga motion problem na merong uh, stream, so ang formula natin dito ay parehas din naman ng sa yung karaniwan na motion uh, problem, di ba karaniwan na motion problem, D is equal to rate, rate times time. Pero kapag uh, upstream and downstream, ayan, battery is running low. I-charge ko lang muna. Ayan, okay. So, ang kaibahan dito, ayan, so ang kaibahan kapag may stream, kapag, uh, kapag upstream, yung rate natin ay ima-minus natin yung uh, rate ng stream. Rate ng boat, ayan, rate ng boat minus rate ng stream tapos kapag down, downstream naman ang magiging rate natin ay rate ng boat plus rate ng stream tapos same formula d is equal to rt pa rin okay so again ang pinakamadaling way para magsolve ako ng motion problem ay gumagamit ako ng table or sa problem pala na ito depende kasi sa given so pwede nang walang table dito kasi Okay, so i-analyze natin mabuti muna. Okay. So number 184, ayan. A boatman rose to a place 4.8 miles with the stream. Ayan, so 4.8 miles with the stream and back in 14 hours. Okay, so yun yung uh, rate down ng boat with the stream. 4.8 miles with the stream and back in 14 hours. So balikan. So nagsimula dito, tapos pupunta siya dito sa kabilang point tapos yan daw ay 4.8 miles 4.8 miles tapos uh, balikan so pumunta siya pa ganyan and then bumalik sa loob ng 14 14 hours okay and then but finds that he can row uh, 14 miles 14 miles with the stream ayan with the stream pa rin 14 miles with the stream in the same time so yan sabi dito in the same time. So, ibig sabihin, i-equate natin, i-equate natin yung time. So, makakabuo tayo ng dalawang equation dito. Ito yung pangalawang equation in uh, 14 miles with the stream in the same time as 3 miles, 3 miles against the stream. Ang hinahanap natin, find the rate of the stream. So, mag-assign muna tayo ng variable dito. Let x be the rate of the boat and then y be the rate of the stream. So, yan. Ang hinahanap natin ay rate ng stream, yung y ang kailangan natin isolve. So, buuin natin ang equation natin dito. So, ang sabi, dito sa first statement natin, a boat man can uh, uh, roast a place 4.8 miles. So, dito tayo mag-focus with the stream and back in 14 hours. So, ang total time natin dito ay, ay 14 hours. 14 hours ang to total time natin. So, tapos ang um, distance ay 4.8 4.8 miles. So, ang magiging formula natin para doon ay T sub 1 plus T sub 2 equals T. T yung total time. So, paano ba yung magiging formula natin dito sa T sub 1? So, di ba ang formula natin ay distance is equal to rate times time. So, para makuha natin yung T sub 1, so therefore, i-divide lang natin ito. So, ang time natin ay equal sa distance over, over rate. Pero yan ay with the stream, di ba? With the stream, so therefore, ang ibig sabihin yan, yung with the stream, magpa-plus tayo ng rate ng stream, tapos yung against the stream ay magma-minus naman tayo ng rate ni stream. So magiging formula natin dito sa T sub 1, 4.8 miles, same distance tayo dyan, papunta, 4.8, pabalik ay 4.8. So therefore, ang T sub 1 natin sa papunta, uh, downstream, so we have distance ay 4.8, tapos ang... Ang rate natin downstream ay x plus y. Tapos upstream, yung pabalik naman, so plus 4.8 pa rin ng distance, tapos ang 
rate naman natin doon ay x minus y tapos ang total di total time daw natin ay 14 hours. So 14 hours so this will be our equation number 1. And then equation number 2 buuin natin but finds that he can row 14 miles with the stream. 14 miles with the stream daw. And then sabi dito in the same time. So in the same time so ibig sabihin ang equation natin t sub 1 equals t sub 2. Okay? Kasi itong word na in the same time, ayan. In the same time as 3 miles against the stream. So yung with the stream ay 14 yung distance. So time is distance over rate. So ang distance ng with the stream ay 14 miles. With the stream, so therefore i-add natin x plus y. In the same time, so equal siya sa 3 miles against the stream. So therefore we have 3 over against the stream, so x minus y. So this will be our equation number 2 and then meron na tayong system of equation kailangan lang nating isolve ang isolve ang y. So i simplify natin itong equation number 1 natin. Simplify natin, meron tayong uh, denominator natin x plus y and x minus y. So multiply natin both sides. Ayan, both sides of the equation by the LCD x plus y times x minus y. So distribute lang natin yan dito sa tatlong terms natin. So pag minultiply dito, makakancel out yung x plus y. So therefore, we have 4.8 times makancel na ito. So we have x minus y. And then plus, i-distribute naman natin dito sa pangalawa. So distribute natin dito, makakancel yung x minus y and x minus y. May matitira namang x plus y. I-multiply dito. 4.8 times x plus y equals... 14, so i-multiply natin dito sa parehas na yan. So we have 14 times x plus y times x minus y. So simplify lang natin, i-distribute natin yan. May makakancel dyan dahil parehas 4.8. Tapos ito, uh, difference of ano yan, uh, product of the sum and difference. So may special product dyan. So simplify lang natin to. We have 4.8x minus 4.8y plus, four, distribute this, so 4.8x plus 4.8y equals 14 times special product ito. So that's equal to x squared minus y squared. And then we can cancel out the minus 8y and then plus uh, 4.8y. Okay, so simplify natin. So we can combine this 4.8x and then another 4.8x. So that will be equal to 9.6x equals, so distribute natin ito, we have 14x squared minus 14y squared. So, ito na yung simplified na equation number 1. So, ito na yung simplified na equation number 1. Okay? So, itong kabila, hindi pa to simplified. And then, from this, meron na tayong nasimplify natin ang equation uh, number 1. Kailangan natin isolve ang y. So, sa equation number 2, isolve natin dito ang uh, isolve natin dito ang x para may substitute natin may substitute natin dito sa y. Okay, so solve for x. So we can uh, cross multiply this. Pwede natin i-cross multiply. So ayan, cross multiply lang natin yan. So we have 14 and then x minus y equals 3 times x plus y. So uh, distribute natin. So distribute this and then itong 3, distribute natin. So we have 14x minus 14y equals 3x plus 3y. So pagsamahin natin si si x at saka si y, pagsamahin sa positive natin ilalagay. So subtract tayo ng 3x to both sides. Subtract 3x to both sides. And then ito namang negative 14y. Dalhin natin sa kabila. So add 14y to both sides. So therefore, we have 14x minus 3x. So that will be 11x is equal to 3y plus 14y. That is equal to 17, 17y. And then, ang hinahanap natin ay rate ni stream. So that is y. Kailangan ito express natin in terms of y. So yung x ang isolve natin. So divide both sides by 11. So therefore, x is equal to 17 over 11, 17 over 11y. So itong 17 over 11y ay isa substitute natin dito sa dito sa x natin. Okay? So i-substitute lang natin 'yan diyan. 
si 17 over 11y, yan yung value ng x, i-substitute natin dito, at saka dito, so magiging in terms of y na siya. Okay, so, substitute natin. So, we have 9.6, and then ang value ng x natin ay 17 over 11, ayan, y equals 14 times uh, x squared, so that is 17 over 11, y minus 14 y squared. So, magiging na itong uh, maging quadratic. May y squared kasi tayo dito. So, isimplify lang muna natin ito. Gamitin lang natin ang calculator dito. So, 9.6 times 17 divided by 11. Okay? So, may namis pala tayo dito. May square pa ito. Okay, so i-calculate lang natin 9.6 times 17 divided by 11 that is equal to ayan so naka-round up natin 14.836 14.836 kapag ni-round up natin okay 14.836 14.836y equals so, ito naman sa kabila, 17 over 11, tas square natin, 17 divided by 11 equals muna and then square. So, naka-square na yan, and then i-multiply natin sa 14. So, times 14, 3 decimal places lang tayo, so that is equal to 33.438. So, 33.438. So, we have 33.438y squared. Nakaround up lang yan. Minus 14y squared. So, we can divide both sides by y kasi uh, ang isa pang solution dito ay y equals 0. Kasi may y lahat eh. Pero syempre, i-discard natin yung y equals 0. So, madali nang isolve dito ang value ng y. Divide natin lahat by y or i-combine natin ito. So, kopyahin lang yung left side 14.836 equal so i-subtract natin ito 33 minus uh, 14 33 minus 14 that is 19 so kopyahin lang natin itong decimal 19.438 y square etong kabila ay may y so i-divide natin parehas sa y kasi uh, isang solution dito nga y equal 0 so pwede natin i-divide both sides by y makakancel na tong y sa left and then eto magiging y na lang so therefore, isa lang ang magiging answer natin dyan. Divide natin both sides by 19.438. So yun na yung magiging value ng y. Divide natin by 19.438. So therefore, yan na yung value ng y. Palitin lang natin ng pwesto. Okay, so i-calculate natin. Naka-round off yan. So we have 14.836. Ayan, divide sa, natin sa numerator na 19.438. So, yan ang value ng stream natin, 0. 0.76. 0. 0.76. So, pag ni-round up yung 0. 0.76, ang pinakamalapit ay 0. 0.8 miles per hour. Okay. So, therefore, ang rate ng stream ay 0. 0.763 na pag ni-round up natin ay equal siya sa letter C, 0. 0.8 miles per hour. Okay. So, that's it. So, thank you for watching and kita kita tayo sa mga iba pang uh, motion problem sa mga susunod na video natin. So, good luck sa lahat ng nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.